Hello, I am Dr. Lakshmi Satish, practicing ENT surgeon at Skin Cosmetic and ENT Care Center and visiting consultant at Sagar Hospital and XL Care Hospitals, Bangalore. Ear tube, commonly called by the patient, is called as a grommet or a ventilation tube. There are two types of ventilation tubes. One is a grommet and another is a T-tube. This surgery is reserved for a condition called secretory otitis media or a glue ear. Secretory otitis media is a condition where there is accumulation of serous fluid in the middle ear behind the drum causing conductive deafness. This can happen either in children or in adults. In children, the commonest condition is a big huge adenoids obstructing the nasopharynx leading to prolonged eustachian tube obstruction. So many children suffer from this condition and this leads to a delayed speech and a failure to develop the mechanism of speech. So we have to evaluate any child with a delayed speech or recurrent ear infection to repeated tests, audiometry tests and impedance audiometry tests and with a good clinical examination with the otoscopy can arrive at a proper diagnosis. If with a medical treatment this condition cannot be resolved, we have to do a surgery called myringotomy and grommet insertion where we make an incision on the eardrum under the operating microscope, suck out the fluid from the middle ear whether it is a thin serous fluid or a thick gummy glue ear. We suck out those secretions and insert a tube called the grommet tube. In case of adults following barotrauma or following diving or following scuba diving or rapid ascent or descent with a prolonged cold, these patients can also develop a eustachian tube blockage which will not resolve for weeks together. If the patient continues to have a conductive hearing loss due to the serous fluid, even in adults, we will have to do this surgery of myringotomy and grommet insertion. Many patients also suffer from a condition called adhesive otitis media. In such individuals, they need prolonged use of the ventilation tube. In such individuals, we insert a tube called the T-tube, which stays in the middle ear for a very long time. For years together, it can stay safely. And later on, when the child or the adult outgrows that condition, we can safely remove the T-tube. Generally, there are no complications of this surgery. It's a simple and safe effective surgery. Grommet insertion can be done as a part of other surgeries such as adenoidectomy, tonsillectomy and myringotomy and grommet insertion in one sitting under general anesthesia in children and in adults when only grommet insertion is required we can safely do it as an outpatient procedure under local anesthesia.